Good day, folks. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Today we have with us a very interesting individual, Khalid Rashid. He came to Canada in 1997 and uh, basically had an animal sciences background, but from there transitioned over into IT and a very interesting journey how, as to when he landed into Canada, he knew nobody and then slowly, you know, built up his uh, uh, contacts over here and then um, excelled in his uh, professional career as well. So with having said that, uh, with that background, uh, can you please get started with telling us a little bit about yourself first? Thank you, Salbai, for having me on your YouTube channel uh, and uh, Asalaamu Alaikum to all of your viewers. Uh, so I'm um, uh, currently living in Mississauga and uh, been in Mississauga for the last 18 years. And uh, I'm working uh, as project management consultant. Uh, I've been working in uh, both in uh, uh, telecom and uh, insurance industry. And uh, coming to your uh, question on the background, so definitely it is quite diverse. Uh, very, you know, it's not, you know, common in a way because from a transition from uh, uh, life sciences, uh, animal sciences to uh, technology, it's a quite a bit of, you know, effort required. Um, so my background is is really like I came from Miachanu, which is a, a small town uh, near Multan. And uh, then uh, I got into uh, animal sciences, uh, bachelor's degree honors in uh, University of Agriculture in uh, Faisalabad. And then I, um, and then I moved forward for a master's honors degree in animal nutrition. And, uh, and then I came to Canada to do my MBA. Uh, and then I realized that is not my cup of tea. And uh, I kind of like uh, technology. And uh, that's where I got into computer science program in, uh, in uh, Laurentian University, and that's where I graduated. Um, so definitely it has been uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, effort uh, because uh, with, the, uh, with the life sciences, you have more like the memorization uh, uh, mindset uh, that you, know, you are built in. And then uh, technology is more built on logic. Uh, so it was a uh, quite challenge in the beginning, but once I, get to that then uh, it went very well and uh, alhamdulillah it has been uh, working well for me and um, and yeah so this is uh, the transition uh, and uh, you know when I came to Canada definitely that was another uh, challenge because uh, uh, when I landed here in 1997 at that time essentially pretty much there was no internet in Pakistan and uh, when I was doing my master's degree uh, I had the desire to go uh, abroad and uh, do my education. And uh, by the time I finished my degree, I got in here uh, for the MBA program. And I had just a few days, you know, to get here. And I don't know anyone here in Canada. Uh, and when I landed uh, at uh, Pearson, uh, I had the phone number for my school that I got into. And I called them, it was late evening. And when I called them, there was a, a voicemail. <laughs> and I had, uh, I was just thinking where to go. Uh, yeah, so uh, somebody approached me, a uh, Pakistani guy, and he asked me, uh, he had some inquiry and I told him, and then he asked me, are you waiting for someone? And I said, no. And he said, somebody's coming to pick you. And I said, no. Uh, he said, where are you going? I said, that's what I'm thinking, where to go? And then uh, he gave me white. Sorry, then let, let into yeah, but this this is interesting as to how it happened. Anyway, please. Yeah, so he gave me white, and uh, I he dropped me at the masjid, the uh, Madina masjid, uh, you know, on Danforth, and uh, and there at that time because many new people were coming in, and you can stay there for three days with the, the calf, you know, Mia. So um, so I started my journey from uh, Madina masjid in this country. Uh, but then, uh, uh, you know, uh, the life... Uh, you made the transition into, uh, from your MBA, you transitioned over uh, to, into a computer science program. Uh, and that was a four-year program or a, it was like a post-grad program? Uh, for uh, for uh, computer science? Yeah. Computer science was four years program. Oh, you did the whole thing again, yes. eh? Okay. But I had some, because uh, I have a first degree, right, already. So they gave me some exceptions. Okay. Uh, because you don't have to do everything because all the, the general courses, you know. Uh, so you started yeah. off with the program or after graduating from 
your bachelor program yes yes so i i i finished my degree and when i finished my degree i started with uh, working with the t mobile uh, in wireless data support and uh, i worked there for a few years and then i moved to um, uh, Rogers, uh, where I've been uh, managing uh, the wireless uh, rollouts um, back in 2006, and I deployed the wireless network in Ontario. And then uh, it was uh, for me, it was more like doing the same thing in project management. So I kind of uh, wanted to get the uh, vendor experience as well. So I uh, I moved to Huawei. Um, you know, at that time, uh, Huawei was kind of in infancy in Canada and uh, in toddler stage, I would say, or, or globally. Uh, but I worked uh, with them uh, as a project manager, program manager, and then I uh, and then I was working as a, as a services director for uh, Huawei, where I've been managing uh, pre-sale uh, projects and operations. So it was a good experience. I had the opportunity to uh, connect with uh, many people, uh, you know, from east to west yeah, coast. Even a transition from a full-time job to a contracting role, right? What was the driver for doing that? You know, I let me tell you, uh, the big driver for me is really, uh, you know, you. I always has the desire to learn you know, new things. So I'm not the person that can just stick with the one job and, you know, stay there. Uh, with the, with that, uh, my mindset, uh, with the with the consulting, you interact with the new challenges, the new people, and uh, that's where, you know, you learn a lot at the same time. And, uh, you know, the, the, the connectivity, those things are built in by default. So, that was my driver because I am not the kind of person that I can just functionally sit on one place and work. Yeah, so that's makes sense. Thing. Makes sense. So, so, so in terms of your current role where you are as a program mm -hmm. manager um, or in contracting role, what what is a what is a one day in the life of uh, Harid Rashid? What happens when you get to work, and then what do you deal with, and how does the end day conclude? Yeah, the life is is really amazing as a program manager. Uh, that you have a big responsibility for sure because the organizations, you know, their business objectives are the one that you are helping them to achieve. Uh, there's a big responsibility, and in particular, in early on in the project where the initiation and the planning is, you have uh, uh, quite actually a busy schedule. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, the time is really uh, meeting uh, with, uh, with the various uh, PMs that they are reporting to me for the projects and uh, meeting with the stakeholders. And, uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, you have more, um, uh, you know, just glue with your stakeholders, uh, providing them updates, you know, and managing the meetings uh, downward and upward. Uh, and make sure that uh, the project is 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 been run uh, to meet the objectives. That's what we do. It's quite That's busy. What we, gotta, we gotta make sure that the projects are on schedule. One yes. last question, if I may ask you, uh, and that is that for those who are moving now to Canada, what is the advice that you will give to them? Yeah, any new people, you know, at that now because we have so much uh, social media, we got LinkedIn, and you know, the, the first key thing to me is the connectivity. Just uh, meet up, you know, your your uh, kind of profession you are in, and uh, just to try to connect with the people that will really help you to uh, to uh, to put your uh, door on the foot. And the other thing is uh, meet with the people they can help you, the real help. Like uh, I know I've been helping a lot of people. Uh, for their, uh, you know, to brush up their resumes and also uh, to help them for the interviews because I've been involved very much on uh, hiring people and uh, I realize, uh, you know, uh, what kind of uh, gaps uh, that people have in terms of communicating and providing the right answers, you know, what they're looking for. Uh, so I think uh, you definitely need the coaching uh, from people that they can help you for the interview. Uh, and those are the things that you need to, uh, you know, uh, get interact with those people, and then uh, you know just pray to Allah to 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 get you something. But uh, from your perspective, uh, uh, you can all you can do is having more connectivity, connect with the people, 
And I've been, as I said, like I've been helping if somebody even approached me for, you know, I can definitely help them to to prepare for the for the interviews. Oh, that is uh, something I guess which all uh, new immigrants are looking for some kind of advice and guidance to uh, steer their uh, course uh, or their profession in the right direction. So this is amazing. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Khalid Bhai, for sparing the time out today uh, to do this interview. And I hope uh, anyone who's watching this, and if you want to reach out to Khalid Bhai, please let me know. I can. Yeah, please, you. anytime. Uh, it was my pleasure, actually, uh, that you got me for for this interview. And uh, I really appreciate for that. And uh, I'm willing to help anyone you know that comes. Uh, Perfect. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.